Hello, my name is Claire Alexander and I wrote the book a little bit different. I also did all the pictures. I'm going to read it to you now and then afterwards I'll show you how I made the book. Here are the ploofers. They are going to do something very special all together. They have been practicing. They will do it all at the same time. Ready, steady, ploof! Wow! Cool! Awesome! Mega! So cool! Beautiful! Wait a minute! There's a gap! Shoof! What's that? I don't know, but I love it! But it's different! I don't like it. It's weird. Let's go. I'm going to stop there. What do you think this little fella is going to be thinking and feeling on the next page? See if you can tell your teacher. I'll show you now how I made the book. And the story was, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had an idea. And I always keep a pen and paper near my bed and I just quickly wrote it down, I fell asleep again and the next morning I got up very excited of, about my new idea and I put some bits of paper together and this is how I make a book dummy and um, I draw, just in pencil, I draw out what I think the story might be on each page. I'll just hold this a bit closer to the camera. Can you see any differences between the finished book and this, this book, this dummy? See what you can spot that's different. I'll show you the next page as well. There's a few things that are a little bit different about the first version. Because this is just a practice run and then what I do next is I take it to a publisher. And a publisher is somebody who likes to print books and take them out into the world so they can be bought and sold all around the world. And uh, the publisher sometimes doesn't like my ideas and sometimes they do. And with this book they obviously did because it became a real book, became a real book. And um, I was very, very excited about that and uh, very, very happy. So another way that I usually start my books is to think about how each page might look. And this is called a storyboard. And I'll show you one of my storyboards. And I'm going to hold it a little bit closer, but only for a minute, because it's top secret. This is the next book in the series, and um, it's going to be called A Little Bit of Courage. But I can't show you the story yet, because it's not even been published. So you'll have to wait to read that one. It's top secret. So when I was little at school, I usually felt happy. But sometimes I had a bit of a problem, and it made me feel like this. I'll tell you all about it in a minute, but I had some good friends who helped me and they made me feel like this. Hooray! So when I was little, I loved reading books. Well, I didn't actually like reading books because I found it really hard to read. I used to look at the pictures all the time and pretend that I was reading. And I don't know if you've ever heard of something called dyslexia, but it's a condition where your brain has trouble it's, it's, it has trouble reading and this is what I had but I didn't know it at the time and so at school I felt really really slow at everything and I felt a bit silly I looked around at the rest of the class and they were all racing ahead doing their writing and their reading and I was really stuck and do you know what that's where this book came from this where, where this book idea came from because 
It was all about feeling different from everybody else. Um, and there's one thing in the book that this character can do that not many other people could. And that was the same with me. I loved drawing and everybody in the class used to ask me to draw pictures for them. So that made me feel very special. So I think that's where this book idea really came from, from when I was your age at school. So one of the things I say I loved doing was I loved looking at the pictures in books and that was really important to me. But the other thing I loved to do with books was I loved to play with books. So I used to get my books. I had lots of books when I was little and I used to get them. And I used to make little houses for my teddies like this. There they are. That's what I used to do. And the other thing I used to do was I used to make slides for my, for my figures out of books. So I'd get a book like this and I'd make a pretend playground like that. And then I'd also get some kind of vehicle that I had, a car or something, and I'd make a big tunnel. So I'd put one book here and I'd put another book here. And I'd see if my, my cars could fit through, Let's see if this one can. Oh, just about. <laughs> Is there anything you like doing with books, apart from reading and looking at the pictures? I'm going to show you how to draw your very own Klufa. We start with the little funnel just here. But then we come down and make a little circle shape, a half circle shape, in fact, down there, there we go. And then we come down a little bit further and go straight down and go up like that. And then the other side, we do the same. And it doesn't matter if it looks different on each side because I think that's part of the charm. And then we come down here and make a little rounded off half circle down there like that. Now, our plufa has little booties on, so we're going to draw those. There we go. There's one, and there's the other one. And there are some little bits of grass he's standing on, so we'll just do a few bits of grass down there. And then is where to put the eye. So I think about halfway down, I make an imaginary line for myself about halfway down the body. And I'm going to do his eyes like this. Can you tell why? Why do you think his eyes are like that? We'll find out in a minute. And then I'm going to put a little smiley mouth like this, a tiny one. There we go. Now, I'm hoping that he looks like he's straining to do a shoof. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw a big shoof for him. Now you can do it any shape you like. Just make it nice and big. I'm going to do mine like this. Big kind of flowery one like that, there we are. There. And that's our shoof. And that's our plufa making the shoof. Now, what I'd like you to think about, I'd like you to think, what am I good at? What are my favourite things? What makes me different from everybody else? What makes me special? And I would like you to draw in your plufa, your plufy shape or your shoofy shape all the things that you love to do and that you think might make you a bit different to everybody else in a good way do you like drawing do you like reading do you like playing ball are you really good at football are you really good at skipping what are you really good at i'd love to see if you can draw them into your shoofy shape and send them to me that would be amazing I really hoped you enjoyed hearing all about A Little Bit Different and the Ploofers and about me as a little girl. I'd love it if you were to write your own Ploofer story and send it to me. That would be amazing. But oh, now I'm feeling quite tired and I think I'll take a little nap and I'm hoping that in the middle I wake up and have another book idea. Fingers crossed. Good night. <laughs>